the same PTV. Your mom and boss will for you. I think it's a Obia in the same PTV. Entrepreneurship maybe. Obetie in the same Yeah, you ask good questions. I hope, sir, you continue with your good questions. Be the first to know in the same PTV. A tear for. Bar my one call by my one joy, my one hand, near my own watching from Brian said PTV. So be the first. No, I am fear in chim war courts. Nina and say, and Tia, Yen Sir Kika, and another Yen Sir Etten is a that Tony General of Ghana, a year, Goffred Yabo Adami, yes, yeah, a free na copums and now she be quay, you know, or bear hit a court a day, a new. Charges akwa ko bo papa e fe nse tadi o sorry na. Di akwa ko e ni nina ane se endra, endra, call to demo o no. Before se call to no kwe bet na asini, ye mamo ya we, particularly me, mi cha ni unsu ba akuma amo a. Me mamo ya we se BNI ni CID, activating investigations against speaker of parliament, ee abambabin, o ne papa e fe no se tadi o sorry. Because abambabin tre le te koma a public procurement authority say or no one about back man or original move emma parliament and now a boy why anna obi aqua could see parliament obi obi could see parliament that you see parliament dino you see or no one about back man as a speaker of parliament into a best person and kagana by emma no coin now or no one about back man and coffee lawyer now lawyer no enko jina muma parliament anytime be a parliament be in a case or court to be anna Nah, saya loyana kau aku jinam. Enam saya cakap kau mah pipi for so obat pesa saya loyana ya befano. Enye papa ya friend saya tadi oh sorry. Nah dia tos mi nu. Saya loyano yang tiada neka five thousand Ghana cedis bos mi biar. Enam face aku di case biar so abang emano three billion kanin tisi kano aye old Ghana cedis no. Emano kanin tisi kah three billion. Nanti saya loyani dia asamba aku biar ma parlement dia emano three billion. On the 18th of December 2022, and a public procurement authority, a trail letter brea bamba ben say, Sa kratana or the other two menim ni sa a year request no, or more a mana in ye because parliament a bind a company a bind you meku a bind you meku be answer no say, Unya sem or court to a do kujina name a bind lawyer penny a friend say attorney general in tea. Omo ma bamba be omo kwa nse onko fanlo ya biwa abonti eme ye juma. Sa asemba, nasi ya de parlement eko pi mu eo kwa tuwa. A bamba be enko nko fan atoni jinwa. In this case, gofre de yabuwa ndame. Na o dami enko jina na nemu. Inti omo sa ebuisa di a bamba be ndeba ya. Omo che mu, omo nti mi enga nti mwa. Eti ifo, a bamba be ne mu mu mraso. Sa mre ye kase yi. Watu le tena tuwa kuni akwa kofa loya no still. Ha ah, uyusu parliament zika ene tia loya neka. Nti mnuwa. Gofred ya buwa dami e rezi sa da ishu nuwa court. Se onti asye se ono attorney general oho. Na se parliament inya se ma parliament inbe fano. Na parliament sa kofa no da loya. Ene de pesi uni kese inti. Onti asye. Ba chief justice and country ya mfasa sa. Ye pon court no. E na no peyi. And I'm my John line for any uh, go Freddy or what damn you. I can't put in common with him say yes. So I said, no, or Bobby taking it up. You know, me this week probably at a year in November. Moon next week in the day. Now, what say, Abam Bobby and the lawyer, Taddy or sorry, you don't want to go with your course. Say, Gang, I'm right, you're the actual FI. You see, Cassa Money, how I hope so. We are buying you many. I also, we are near my corner. Abam Bobby, no busso. So, Abam Bobby, I fair chili. Na public procurement for letter or money buying or what about what can work off a lawyer who is a parliament seeker and m farm raccoons with the chair and a can a bamba be now born minor chrono in tea in some go for your bond i mean at the top my jaw online for any l court down and a near my or baby a chair bamba i mean it was was a matter that was properly brought up yes because as i indicated to the court the procurement of all goods works and services of any person with public funds must be with the approval of the public current authority. So it's a matter that is very important and indeed yes we raise it. In the Namagacha case, in the case, the court stated that when it comes to issues where parliament 
and the, the, the AG's office has cross purposes. They can hire different lawyers. In constitutional case, there's nothing like a person have an interest in it. Uh, why, what, what interest does the Speaker of Parliament have in the interpretation of, of the Constitution? So there's no interest, no personal interest of the Speaker of Parliament. And that's the point that I sought to make. That like indeed, when it comes to constitutional actions, the most important interest is the true and proper interpretation of the relevant provision of the Constitution. And that is it. So it's not as if a person has a personal interest in it. And if that's the case, as I indicated in some cases that I cited, it is actually a proper interpretation of the Constitution by the Supreme Court that is, that, that, that is most important. I mean, as I said, I mean, I've always um, tolerated um, um, the Speaker of Parliament and his representation, even though I know um, it's not lawful. And of course, it is not, you see, and the point must be made, it is not an attempt to um, prevent the Speaker from having representation. If the Speaker wants to have a lawyer, the Speaker must procure the lawyer lawfully. And then, as I said, the attention, even when he's seeking the service of a lawyer to represent the government in cases outside the country, in foreign court, goes through PPR approval all the time. Even the Chief Justice, the former Chief Justice, Edi Eboa, who was, with all respect, using the services of Tadja Sorry, had to go to PPR approval. And I know for a fact that he has not received any PPR approval. And so he's in flagrant violation of the, of, of the provisions of the law, and, and that is what we, we sought. Then why did you leave? You, you did not raise it again. The Chief Justice came back and did not mention it again. Well, that's up to the court. You know, I do not quarrel with the court at all when the court decides to either defer a ruling or maybe decides not to rule on it. And of course, all rights are also reserved in us to take it up further. A breach of the PPA Act constitutes a crime. And my contention is that you cannot use a crime to defend a clear unconstitutional action by us. So indeed, you are engaged in an unconstitutional action and you are using, with all respect, um, the commission of a crime to further was properly brought up. Yes, because as I indicated to the court, the procurement of all goods, works and services of any person with public funds must be with the approval of the procurement authority. So it's a matter that is very important and indeed, yes, we raise it. In the Namagacha case, in the Namagacha case, the, the court stated that when it comes to issues where parliament and the, the, the AG's office has cross purposes, they can hire different lawyers. In constitutional case, there's nothing like a person have an interest in it. Uh, why, what, what interest does the Speaker of Parliament have in the interpretation of, of the Constitution? So there's no interest, no personal interest of the Speaker of Parliament. And that's the point I, I sought to make. That indeed, when it comes to constitutional actions, the most important interest is the true and proper interpretation of the relevant provision of the Constitution. And that is it. So it's not as if a person has a personal interest in it. And if that's the case, as I indicated in some cases that I cited, it is actually a proper interpretation of the Constitution by the Supreme Court that is, that is, that is most important. I mean, as I said, I mean, I've always um, tolerated um, um, the Speaker of Parliament and his representation, even though I know um, it's not lawful. And of course, it is not, you see, and the point must be made, it is not an attempt to um, prevent the Speaker from having representation. If the Speaker wants to have a lawyer, the Speaker must procure the lawyer lawfully. And then, as I said, the attorney general, even when he's seeking the service of a lawyer to represent the government in cases outside the country, in foreign court, goes through PPR approval all the time. Even the chief justice, the former chief justice, Edi Eboa, who was, with all respect, using the services of Tadja Sorry, had to go to PPR approval. And I know for a fact that he has not received any PPR approval. And so he's in flagrant violation of the, of, of the provisions of the law, and, and that is what we, we sought. Then why did you leave? You, you did not raise it again. The Chief Justice came back and did not mention it again. Well, that's up to the court. You know, I do not quarrel with the court at all when the court decides to either defer a ruling or maybe decides not to rule on it. And of course, all rights are also reserved in us to take it up further. A breach of the PPA Act constitutes a crime. And my contention is that you cannot use a crime to defend a clear unconstitutional action by us. So indeed, you are engaged in an unconstitutional action and you are using, with all respect, um, the commission of a crime to further that unconstitutionality. So look, if Andy can just play that video, for starters, let's, let's watch it. Uh -huh, if Andy can just play that video, for starters, let's watch it. B. Honorable. Grants of orders beyond 10 days. The speaker's lawyer urges that because of Order 25 Rule 18 of the High Court Civil Procedure Rules 2004, CI 47, that the processes of court had been set through the legal department of parliament, and this had been brought to the notice of the speaker. He bantered extensively on this information with the plaintiff on the floor of parliament. And the speaker's only reason for choosing to quarrel with the summons from the Supreme Court, an application for injunction to restrain him from ruling on a matter premised 
on interpretation of Article 971G was that as Speaker, he was only supposed to be served with court processes on Monday. This is an unfortunate interpretation of the first column of the circular referred to, because this circular provides for the Speaker of Parliament to be served personally on Mondays and through the legal department of Parliament on any day. Interpretation of the circular that the Speaker chose to put on how he was to be served. The Supreme Court is satisfied that the Speaker was well served with notice of the action that had been started on 15th October 2024 and seeking the correct interpretation of Article 971G of the court, that the processes of court had been set through the legal department of parliament, and this had been brought to the notice of the speaker. He banted extensively on this information with the plaintiff on the floor of parliament. And the speaker's only reason for choosing to quarrel with the summons from the Supreme Court, an application for injunction, to restrain him from ruling on a matter premise on interpretation of Article 971G was that as Speaker, he was only supposed to be served with court processes on Monday. This is an unfortunate interpretation of the first column of the circular referred to, because this circular provides for the Speaker of Parliament to be served personally on Mondays and through the legal department of Parliament on any day. So what, what about this? So the, 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 the Chief Justice mm -hmm. is interpreting her own circular. She says that the interpretation put on the circular by the Chief Justice is unfortunate. By the Speaker. By the Speaker. It's unfortunate. And that if you check the first column mm -hmm. of that circular, mm -hmm. the Speaker is supposed to be served personally only on Mondays. Mm -hmm. But the legal department of the parliamentary service can be served on any other day. Yes. So, Doc, I brought three copies of the circular. One for Kuboy. One for you. This is a circular. No, give it to Doc. No, give it to him. Then one for me. And Annie has a soft copy of the circular. So, Annie, can you kindly put the circular on the screen? Let everybody see it. Chief Justice says, Per the circular, the speaker can only be served personally only on Mondays. She says the first column. But when it comes to the legal department on any other day of the week. Look, I need not read the preceding paragraphs for the sake of time. But let me read it quickly. This is what the document says. Um, to all registrars of the court and belief, circular. The date is 12 July 2024. Enforcement of Article 112 and 118 of the Constitution. Immunity from service of process and arrest. This is enforcement of Article 117 and 118. The Honorable Lady Chief Justice's attention has been drawn by the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament to potential breaches by actions of some officers and some persons acting on behalf of the Judicial Service of Article 117 and 118 of the 1992 Constitution. Articles 117 and 118 of the Constitution provides that she calls that. Then she continues, these provisions ensure that the officers, the office holders listed above may not be served any process of court or compelled to appear as a witness in court unless parliament is not in session or the speaker so satisfies that the office holder in question is not on his way to attending or returning from any proceedings of parliament. Attention has also been drawn to a circular issued on 22nd February 2021. The Honorable Lady Chief Justice is informed that there have been, been attempts to serve court processes of members of parliament. She continues, I need not read all. In view of the foregoing, Annie, can we have the page two on the screen? In view of the foregoing, the Honorable Chief Justice has therefore directed that in serving processes to the above mentioned officials, the following should be adhered to henceforth. Now, the woman says, if you check the first column of this circular, the speaker can only be served personally only on Mondays. And the legal department served on any other week. As a young school, we know what a column is. Check the first column. What is a column? The column is the vertical part. So you see, in their haste to dismiss the application, they even confuse column with row. Obviously, what he was talking about was the first row. 
the horizontal. Look, I lie. Look at the first row. Number one, personality or institution to be served. Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament. How service should be effected. Look, this is it. All court processes should be served on the legal department of the parliamentary service. Acceptable times of service. Mondays during working hours. Mondays during working hours. Where in this column, row or circular, is it written that for the Speaker of Parliament, he can be served personally, personally, on only Mondays. But for the legal department, on any other day of the week, where is it written? Madam Gitri Tokon, where is it written? So, so when you, when you look at um, two no. and three, yes, uh, the one to the clerk to parliament yes. and members of parliament. Yes. When you look at those two, yes, you will see that where the intent, yes, of the circular, yes, was to indicate that they could be served on days other than Monday. It is stated. It is stated. Because you see, when you are suing so, parliament, so first of all, they state. Tuesday to Friday. Exactly. And they stay the time. Exactly. So 7 a.m. So, to 8 a.m. So, so that if, if um, the intent was that you could serve the right honorable speaker personally. personally. And on, it is not indeed no, there. There is no part of this, col on, on, this, this, on, this column or on, whatever. On Mondays. Uh, and and serve legal department on any other day. It, it will be written. stated. No, hold and on. then if mm -hmm. the intent was that you can serve the speaker on Monday, mm -hmm. but you can serve the speaker through the, the legal, legal department, department on any other day. On Tuesday to Friday, just it like it's in two and three. It would have been stated. Have been stated. Because when you are serving Parliament, you, or if you are serving a process on Parliament, you serve the clerk. Mm. And when you are serving the clerk, the Chief Justice says you can do it on Mondays or any other day of the week. That is other weekdays, Tuesday to Friday, even with, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. give you a time. A time, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Yes. And then for members of parliament, on Mondays, because MPs don't work on Mondays, mm. usually. They don't work on Mondays. Mm. And then on Tuesdays to Fridays, by 7 to 8, parliament is not certain. Mm. So that agreement, mm. you know, because the speaker and the MPs could have even argued that by 7, we would have been on our way to parliament. So it would have been impossible to serve them. But they have all come to this so you see that even compromise position. You see that even the speaker, uh -huh. uh, when parliament on recess is not even applicable to him. No. Yeah. When parliament is on recess, it's you can't even applicable. You can only circular. serve this the, this, this the chief justice in this circular never made any provision for serving anything personally on the speaker. Yes. This document says the only way you serve the speaker, and you just if you can, we can see the first. Rule. The only way you, you, you can serve, serve the speaker yes. is to serve the legal department of the parliamentary service. Mm. And you can do that only on Mondays. Yes. So, so there's nothing like a personal service on him. Why would a it woman is who is chief justice utter this document herself? I'm sure that when they retired into chambers to write their ruling. Okay. Don't, don't insinuate. Just make your point. Yes, I'm sure that. I mean, I'm being fair to her. She, she would have even taken another look at the circular mm. to refresh her memory. Mm. At least in interpreting the document, give the correct interpretation. This is the document that is coming from the Chief Justice. This is a, 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 the Judicial sec Secretary mm. signing on behalf of the Chief Justice. In view of the foregoing, the Honorable Lady Chief Justice has therefore directed. And the Chief Justice is in copy. Why would the Chief Justice lie this way? Is she chief justice or chief of injustice? Why? Okay. This is a sacrilege. This is disgraceful. 